Hi there, my beautiful lovelies. Before I start, I want to really uh, thank you for listening in. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the bell icon, uh, hitting sub cl clicking on subscribe and hitting the bell icon and like my videos. As an artist, I use my artwork as an outlet to let my ADHD self free. It also allows me to use my right brain, a key component to mindful living and being self-aware. Just as paintings are my outlets, poems are my sister's outlet to let her dyslexia self run free. With her permission, I'm sharing one such poem with you. Please show her the same support you have shown me. This poem is dedicated to the one person who was her friend, her mentor, confidant, and her guardian angel. With his passing, she lost her best friend, mentor, confidant, and guardian angel. Hope you can feel the same grief in this poem as I do. In her poem, she pours her heart out. One thing that is hard for her to do due to her dyslexia and her depression. Hope you will be able to connect with her emotion through her poems. She wrote this poem dedicated to our grandpa just a few days before the death of our grandma, nine years ago. Let's begin. Frozen in Time by Sarnina Khan. I don't remember much, but one thing I do are the times I spend together with you. You taught me everything I know. You showed me where not to go. What is right and what is wrong. You told me all in the form of a song. You made me smile whenever I was sad. We walked for miles. With you I was glad. It's been eight years since you have been gone. I'm still standing there as time went on. My dear lovelies, I can feel the raw emotion that my sister is usually unable to express through this um, poem. Through this poem, I want you to make sure that others can see the same raw emotion that I can see. I hope you can connect to her through her poems. What kind of emotion are you feeling in this poem? What emotions can you connect to through this poem? I would love to hear your comments. Take care. Bye.